Crystal Cox here from SavvyBroker.com and I just want to tell you guys a little bit about e and insurance. When I first got into real estate I got e and insurance, heirs and admission insurance. I got this not because anybody made me but because I wanted to protect my real estate buyers and sellers. I thought that the insurance would protect them if say a pipe blew up in the wall and I didn't know, you know, hence an air or something that I admitted because I honestly didn't know. I thought that my insurance would protect the real estate consumer, you know, basically maybe pay for it, kind of like homeowner's insurance or some sort of a liability to protect my clients. That's what I thought. Well, come to find out my e and insurance is to protect me as a real estate broker and I'm not a realtor anymore. I quit the Association of Realtors, but that's a story for another video post. Anyway, E&O insurance is not meant to protect my clients. My E&O insurance has told me that it is not the intention of my E&O insurance to protect my clients. Well, this was shocking to me. And so I'm just letting you folks know that the realtors are not insured to protect you. They are insured to protect themselves. E&O insurance basically puts a closed sign up and protects the realtor from the real estate consumer. And some states making this insurance are making this insurance mandatory. So they're making the realtors protect themselves from the consumer. There's something fishy about this. So go to SavvyBroker.com and subscribe to my real estate blog and find out what you really need to know about the real estate industry. It's quite shocking.